Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'd like to show you how I created this look using Real Reptile Shed from Gizmo the Tegu. Look at this boy. He is a five-year-old, 25-pounder, and he is a ball of love. I just love him so much. Look at how he is. He's sort of like a therapy animal. He goes from place to place, brightens people's days and lives. I'm going to use his actual shed in this look to create all the elements on my eye look. I am popping in a brown contact lens first, and now I'm going to show you how I made this little eyebrow here. Here is his shedded skin, and all I'm doing is taking a stencil I made of a basic shape of an eyebrow finding out where on his shed I want the pattern or where on his shed I want the eyebrow to be and I just cut around the stencil and there I go there's my little eyebrow I'm gluing it on with regular Elmer's glue because when I'm all done with the look, I'll be able to peel it off nice and safely without pulling any of my eyebrow hairs out. Taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm just taking a shadow that pretty much matches my skin tone all over the lid and brow. Taking a small pencil brush, I am taking a metallic green color and just sketching out the placement I want the shadow to be. Now taking a larger fluffy brush with that same color, I'm just packing more on that area and also blending it out. Putting that same color on the lower lash line on each side of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to attempt to paint a Tegu Tongue liner. So I'm taking a light pink water activated body paint, just painting my lid and the general shape of where the tongue will be. Using a tiny paintbrush, I'm just marking out the tongue fork shape. Now I'm just taking a dark pink shadow and making a line right down the center of the whole tongue liner. That will serve as the depression point in the center of the tongue, creating kind of a shadow there. Shading under with a gray color. Using white to highlight and create some texture.
You'll see me kind of going back and forth with dark and light and shading, and just trying to get the shape down and to be readable of what it is. I really wanted it to look like a tegu's tongue, so I'm taking like black body paint and really darkening up the creases and underneath and the shadows. And you see me coming back in with the white. I just keep going at it back and forth and looking in the mirror to see what I could add and what I could do to make it look more believable. Here is a bottom lash type thing I made using the same Tegu's shedded skin. And I was going to show you how I did it, and as you can see I'm failing here as well, staying in frame. I recorded me making it, but obviously I wasn't in frame, just like that. I glued that on with some lash glue. And now I'm just taking pieces, just randomly cut not perfectly circled or any sort of shape, just asymmetrical shapes, and I'm just gluing in the crease with lash glue. These are lashes I made out of the skin, and all I did was just take little slivers and slices and cut them into eyelash shapes. And when I cut them thin enough, they kind of curled up, kind of like a lash. So I just took my favorite pieces and glued them on my lash line with lash glue. Here's the finished look. Gizmo the Tegu in all his glory. Thank you for shedding. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. If you'd like to see more information on Gizmo, also Tegus in general, I'm going to have some information down below. And also, here's where you can find Gizmo the Tegu on Instagram. I'll link that below as well. Alright everybody, love you, bye!